Welcome to Best of Late Night, a rundown of the previous night's highlights that lets you sleep, and lets us get paid to watch comedy. If you're interested in hearing from the Times regularly about Grey TV, sign up for our watching newsletter and get recommendations straight to your inbox. The adults aren't cutting it anymore after a shooting left 17 people dead at a Florida high school last week. Stephen Colbert expressed solidarity on Tuesday with the students who are calling for gun control legislation, and he lashed out at politicians who oppose these measures. The adults aren't cutting it anymore, I think we need to change the voting age, until we do something about guns, you can't vote if you're over 18. Stephen Colbert I hope these kids don't give up, because this is their lives and their future. Someone else may be in power, but this country belongs to them, and there is reason for hope. Look at the hashtag MeToo movement, a lot of men in power did not see that coming, but it proved that change can happen overnight, and this is an election year, so if you want to see change, you have to go to the polls and tell the people who will not protect you that their time is up. Stephen Colbert on The Daily Show, Trevor Noah expressed disgust with commentators on Fox News who suggested that gun control measures would not prevent school shootings. Noah mocked them for suggesting more creative, and, he thought, harebrained, solutions. The problem is school shootings, right? So let's just get rid of the schools. Stick with me, people. You can't school shoot without a school. Everyone gets homeschooled, that way, no one can shoot their friends, because homeschooled kids don't have any friends. Problem solved, Trevor Noah Trump and Karen McDougal on Tuesday's Late Show, Colbert also took a moment to highlight the most recent allegations of infidelity that have emerged against President Trump. The New Yorker recently published a report that the one-time Playboy model Karen McDougal had engaged in an affair with Trump in 2006, the same year he allegedly started an affair with the actress known as Stormy Daniels. McDougal wasn't attracted to Trump because of his money. In her notes she writes, I was into his intelligence and charm. Such a polite man. Okay, now this story's falling apart. And according to the article, Trump complimented McDougal by saying that she was similar to his daughter Ivanka. Okay, now the story's starting to feel real again. Stephen Co